In the days of Valentino, we know a maid named Ethel was so bright and alive. Wacky do, wacky do, wacky do. But she was struck down by a trolley. Dolly said goodbye in 1925. Ethel in heaven awaited patiently to earn her wings and be an angel fancy free. Sixty years later, the opportunity to help a family came through. Boop, 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 da do, 23 ka do. Back down to earth to teach the Prestons lessons. Richard, Lissy, Dwayne, and JJ, too. Now she must be a 1980s lady. Down to earth, it's so angelic. Down to earth, down to earth, down to earth. Lissy, come on, your breakfast is getting cold. Here you go. Excuse me. Oh, I don't have time for breakfast, Ethel. I don't want to be late for swimming class. Now, hold on there, Lissy. You're not on the swim team. No, but uh, Terry Corbett is. Mind your own business. <laughs> Who is Terry Corbett? Oh, he's the most popular guy in school. Uh, next to me, that is. Dream on, Dwayne. Terry Corbett is so major. I'm dying to go out with him, except he doesn't even know I exist. Oh, gee, some guys have all the luck. Why don't you just walk right up to him and introduce yourself? Because every girl in school is doing that. It's like a bakery. You have to take a number and wait in line. Uh, I'll tell you what, Lissy, uh, I have a method, and uh, I guarantee you'll get a date with him. I know your method. Forget it. Hey, look, I'm running a special this week. Uh, it'll only cost you $10. $10 to learn how to be underhanded, manipulative, and despicable? <sighs> yeah. How can you beat that for value? <laughs> bye, Apple. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. All right, $9.95 and not a penny less. Forget it! <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Apple. Good morning. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Um, Gigi, why aren't you dressed? You're going to be late for school. I'm not going to go to school today. <laughs> now, why don't you want to go to school, son? Well, Dad, it's this big kid at school. Arnold Robinson. He said if I showed up today, he was going to beat me up. Did you have an argument with him? Nah, he's just a bully. He pushes all the kids around and calls them names. Well, you know, J.J., when I was your age, I, I knew a bully who was so mean that some of the kids beat themselves up just so they wouldn't have to face him. <laughs> wow, that is a mean bully. Yeah, and he had a, a name to match. Yeah. Uh, Bone Crusher Babcock. <laughs> yeah, well, um, that was his nickname, of course. Yeah, he, his real name was uh, Bone Crusher Babcock III. <laughs> Did he pick on you, Dad? No, no. He liked me because, uh, well, I told him jokes. I wish I had some jokes to tell Arnold. Well, your wish is my command. Now, let's see. Uh, here, there, that, that was my secret weapon. One thousand and one jokes for all occasions. Mm -hmm. hmm, let's see. Why did the chicken cross the... Oh, Richard. Those jokes have been around since I was a little girl. Oh, well, see, J.J., these jokes have withstood the test of time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. I'm gonna make Arnold laugh if it kills me. <laughs> bye, bye. Break a leg. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say in the show business. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Lissy. Hi, Dwayne. How was school? Oh, great. I am number 13. Only 12 girls ahead of me before I get to talk to Terry. Lissy, I'm telling you, with my method, you could be number one by the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, but I'd hate myself in the morning. <laughs> Don't you say hello anymore? Hello. Uh, what's with the shades? Well, Dad told me to be funny, to try to show the school bully I wasn't afraid. But I think I need funnier jokes. Oh, that's a mean shiner. Oh. Oh, Lissy, could you get some ice, please? Oh. JJ, speaking as your older brother, I'm going to get the kid that did this to you. 
Dwayne, his older brother was just thrown out of reform school. <laughs> well, I think it's about time you learned to fight your own battles. <laughs> hey, JJ, how was school today? Well, JJ tried to humor Arnold Robinson. Yeah, but uh, Arnold provided all the uh, punchlines. <laughs> Oh, J.J., did he punch you in the eye? No, he threw your joke book at it. Oh. J.J., next time the sky starts up and you try turning the other cheek. Great. Yeah, then he'll get another black eye. Richard, I think you should call the boy's father. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, information. I'd like the number of a uh, Mr. Robinson. Uh, he lives on... Uh... J.J., what street does he live on? I'm not sure, but after his last murder, he was moved to death row. Uh-huh. Yeah, on death row. Uh, ne never, never mind. This has gone too far. J.J.'s safety is at stake. Uh, Dad, isn't this the part when the, uh, the father's supposed to teach his son how to box or something? Oh, now, Dwayne, violence is not the answer. It was for Arnold. Richard, you know, I think I can teach J.J. how to, uh, protect himself against bullies. Oh, no, Ethel, how would you do that? Before I came here, I spent some time studying, uh, kung fu. Yippee, I'm saved! <laughs> uh, now, I, I find that a little hard to believe. <laughs> Why? Because Ethel's a woman? Oh, come on, Lizzie, you don't really believe that she knows kung fu, do you? Of course I do. Absolutely, positively, without a question. Ethel, are you sure you know Kung Fu? <laughs> please, please, I believe her. It's my only hope. Now, I can understand your skepticism. I mean, you've never seen me uh, demonstrate my skills. <laughs> now, Duane, uh, could you go out in the backyard and get me a cinder block, please? JJ, the next time this guy tries to hit you, you just do this. Hey, ha! Hey, ha! Or do this. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha! Yeah. Oh, oh no, this is great. This is great. You're gonna love this one. This is super. All right, here we go. Ready? Ha! Ha! Oh wait, wait, that's not the right. That's not the right. There goes my. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, what should I do with this? I needed to do it, but who taught you? I took lessons from Bruce Lee in heaven. Wow! Mm -hmm. Ethel, I don't approve of the use of force. Kung Fu is the art of self-defense. It is an alternative to violence. The highest goal in Kung Fu is to bend like the willow. Ha! Ha! Right, now, come on. We've got a lot to learn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bend. Ha! I know this is a mistake. Well, let's see, face it, huh? You're desperate. <laughs> Don't rub it in. Now, before we begin, uh... Read this card. What is it? Well, it's an affirmation. See, you, uh, you say it aloud and it clears the channels of your mind to the hidden truths of the method. All right, all right. I can date whomever I want through the sheer power of Dwayne Preston's method. Dwayne Preston's method is a marvel, reflecting the grandeur and brilliance that is Dwayne Preston. This is a rip-off. Oh, uh, let's see, there's, there's more on the back. I won't read it. And if you don't get on with my lesson, then I want my money back. Okay, okay. Mm. Now, the secret to my method is... be unavailable. Now, whenever Terry calls, you're, you're not home. May I ask why? Well, it's simple. It's like the old saying goes, run to them and they flee. Flee from them, and they follow. <laughs> Maybe it's Terry. Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> Don't touch that phone. Why can't I answer the phone? Because it's a part of Dwayne's method, and it better work. Trust me. D uh, Dwayne. It worked. <laughs> Sorry, I must be the wrong.
on Christmas. <laughs> it's my mistake, Candy. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Hello, Hi, Candy. Candy. Guess who's coming to dinner? Oh, uh, Sydney Portier. <laughs> Him, too? Better set another plate. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I was joking, Candy. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 ha. Candy, who is coming to dinner? Roxanne. Who's Roxanne? Roxanne is my niece. You know, that's like a nephew who turned out to be a little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. I don't. Well, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to be going now. Uh, me too. I have to go practice being unavailable. <laughs> uh, Ethel, listen. Yeah. Roxanne's going to be here two weeks. She mm -hmm. should meet JJ. I mean, they're both eight. That's right. Well, we'll have to get them together. Oh, good. Yeah. I gotta go now. I'm taking my first ballet lesson. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, hi, Candy. Uh, hi, Ethel. Hi, Richard. Richard? Ah. Uh? Guess who's coming to dinner? Uh, I give up. Sydney Portier. Ha ha ha. Get it? Uh, uh, yeah, Ethel is, uh, J.J. home yet? Oh, he's due any minute. <laughs> now, let's, Richard, don't you worry, because I taught him everything he needs to know to protect himself against bullies. Oh, I can't help but worry. I mean, after all, he is my little boy. Well, that's true. Hi, Master Ethel's son. <laughs> Hi, Papa's son. Uh, uh, well, uh, how did it go today, J.J.? Great, Arno won't be bothering me anymore. Did you, uh, bend like the willow? Nah. I made Arnold bend it instead. Now he's a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Ethel, my little boy is turning into a shogun assassin. Oh, Richard, that is not what I taught him. Hi, you! Hi! <laughs> you were saying... <clears throat> well, um, maybe it's a phase he's going through. <laughs> Chip nails, rough cuticles. No matter how pretty you are when your nails look... Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll certainly do whatever I can. Uh, goodbye. <sighs> well, Ethel, that was certainly an interesting call. Who was it? That was Arnold the Bully's father. <gasps> you mean he escaped from prison? Oh, I'll call the warden immediately. Uh, uh, Ethel, no, no, no. The, the man is a successful physician. He's a top dermatologist. And I thought the only thing you learned in prison was how to make license plates. Now, he's never been in prison. You see, Arnold just made all that up about his family. So why did Dr. Robinson call you? Well, it seems that uh, Arnold is afraid to go to school. See, J.J. told him school wasn't big enough for the both of them. Uh-oh. Oh, J.J., uh, uh, Karen, sit down. Oh, sure, Dad. Uh... Uh, uh, J.J., did, did you tell uh, uh, Arnold Robinson uh, never to go to school anymore? Yep, the kid at school elected me sheriff. <laughs> J.J., now, when I taught you Kung Fu, it was in order to protect yourself, not to take the law into your own hands. Put someone else to help the kids who can't fight back. Hiya! Boo! <laughs> and I'm the toughest kid around. Uh, the, that's this week, J.J. You see, the problem with being the uh, toughest is that there's somebody tougher just around the corner. Not at my school. None of them know Kung Fu. Well, sayonara. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Terry, what a pleasant surprise. Uh, no, no, Lissy's not here right now. She's, uh, she's on the first of two dates. Yeah, one right after the other. Um, excuse me, Dwayne. Do Lissy is right upstairs. Uh, 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 excuse me, Terry. I know that. Uh, sh what? Oh, you were, uh, considering asking her for a date, huh? Terry? Well, I think she said something about a weekend on the Riviera. The Riviera? Yeah. Uh, I don't think uh, of so. Of course, that might be next no, weekend. Dwayne. Don't mention it, Terry. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Bye. Dwayne, what are you doing? Oh, Ethel, it's, it's just all a part of my method. <laughs> Things are a lot less complicated in my day. Ethel? Hello. I 
want you to meet my niece, Roxanne. Roxanne, I have heard so much about you. That's because there's so much to tell. I've had quite an extraordinary life, although I'm only eight years old. Well, um, I'd just love to hear all about it. You'll have to wait till the book comes out, like everyone else. I'm going to wait for the movie. Candy, is it raining outside? Oh, I'll go check. Hey, Candy, I think Ethel wants to know why you're wearing a raincoat. Oh, well, I needed something to hide my tutu. Tutu? <laughs> Looks more like a one-one. <laughs> Ethel, Roxanne and I want to tell you about ballet class. The instructor said, and I quote, Here is the epitome of poetry and grace. Well, Candy, what did the instructor say about your dancing? Oh, she said I had a natural disability. <laughs> uh-huh. I see. <laughs> Aunt Candy has spoken very highly of J.J. Uh. I'd like to meet the young lad. Is he in? No, he is not. Um... You know, today is not a very good day. I have to have a long talk with J.J. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. That is a long talk. What's it about? Well, um, there is a problem in the way that J.J. uses Kung Fu. And I want to talk to him about the philosophy. You mean Ben like the willow? How did you know? Roxanne studied with a master in King Kong. You mean Hong Kong? You know, Candy, maybe it would be a good idea if Roxanne came over later. Dwayne! I just ran into Terry. He thought I was on my way to the Riviera. Hey, hey, you see, my method's working. Uh, he's checking your every move. Now, uh, all you have to do is play cool. <laughs> <laughs> all I have to do is find another date for Saturday because Terry invited someone else because he thought I'd be out of town. Uh, well, gee, that's, uh, it's terrible, Lissy, but, uh, sorry, no refunds. <laughs> Daddy, Dwayne's method has ruined my social life. Why? Oh, Dad, I have every intention of refunding her money. <laughs> Keep it, Dwayne. You are going to need it for the hospital bill. <laughs> Dwayne's method? Richard? Huh? Richard, was that Lizzie chasing Dwayne down the sidewalk? Or am I crazy? Oh, now, Candy, that's an unfair question. <laughs> Have you been introduced? Oh, months ago. Aunt Candy, I think Ethel was talking to me. Hi, I'm Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. I'm JJ. This is Ethel, and that's my dad. Hi. I understand you're a student of Kung Fu. Oh, yeah, I was just practicing. Ethel, you were supposed to get him out of practice. I am. Have faith. JJ, guess what? Roxanne knows a little Kung Fu, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I know a whole lot. Maybe I can show you a few moves. You show me? How absurd. I should show you. But you're just a girl. My, aren't we observant? <laughs> huh? A very impressive vocabulary to boot. Now, kids, listen. Um, you know, I think we all would enjoy a kung fu demonstration. Oh, I know I would. No, no. Oh, then again, maybe I wouldn't. The Ethel, we can... Hey, Richard, it's okay. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, big boy, let's see your kick. hi ya hut! That's a to care of Arnold. Not bad. Now try it on me. I can't do that. You're a girl. Do I look worried? <laughs> Go ahead. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Complete! Oh. Oh. JJ, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, Sonny, are you all right? No, Dad. I just got creamed by a girl. Oh, uh, JJ. Uh... Richard, uh, now I think it's time for one of your famous father and son talks. Ethel, you're reading my mind. <laughs> uh, son, that's not the answer. Well, I know, but I saw it in a movie once and it looked neat. 
<laughs> well, J.J., you, uh, you want to talk? What's there to talk about? I got beaten in Kung Fu. Oh, that's not so bad. I mean, it was bound to happen sooner or later. See, uh, fighting only leads to more fighting. You can't be a winner every time out. But, Dad, what am I going to do? The kids at school need me to protect them from bullies. Well, your father at home needs you safe and sound. See, I don't want to see anything happen to you. I love you too much. Dan, you can stop worrying. I'm turning in my badge. Oh, I'm very proud of you, J.J. Even if a girl knocked me off my feet? Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, a long time ago, I met a girl who knocked me off my feet. <laughs> you know what? She was your mother. <laughs> Dan, how did you get J.J. to uh, take up ballet? Well, I just convinced him that ballet was more satisfying than Kung Fu. Yeah, but if anybody sees me in these, I'll be laughed out of school. <laughs> Don't worry, I have the perfect response to anybody who makes fun of ballet apparel. Oh, yeah? What's that? Hi-ya! <laughs> My bodyguard. 